When spring hits, I am so excited because it means it's asparagus season and, of course, peas. Look at these fresh peas. Adam Swanson is here to show us a beautiful salad using pasta too. Yeah, we're going to make a wonderful pasta salad mm. Yeah, for that springtime. Exactly yes, what you're saying. Yes, I love it. I love it. And in spring, you know, really show off those beautiful soft herbs like dill and mint too. I think I like the sound of this. You like this recipe? Yes, I do. Well, we're going to be using the San Remo Pulse chickpea pasta. Right. So there's kells there. So we're going to need yep. to get that into the salted water. Yep. And that's going to take around eight to ten minutes to cook just. Yep. So it's made with chickpea flour. Uh -huh. it does it have a lovely nutty flavour to it? Wonderful nutty yep. flavour. It's obviously gluten-free, dairy-free, mm. really, really good. And for me, you know, I just want to step it up a little bit with this salad, sure, OK? Sure. Yep. Typically, you know, everyone thinks about putting a mayo or an aioli through your pasta salad. No need. We're going to keep it nice and clean with some lemon juice, white balsamic and the wonderful fresh veggies. I do spy a little burrata too, though. Ha ha! <laughs> a little cheese. I know the quickest way to your heart is cheese. So, you yes. know it, you know it. And I like the pasta shape. So mm. it's, it's quite small, um, which makes it a little bit more of a refined style salad. 100%. You, you know, you don't really want to be using spaghetti for a pasta salad. You could. You could mm. chop it up and change it, but <laughs> this one is perfect. perfect. All okay. right, I'm going to get you onto the asparagus. So when I say the bottom bit is the woody, I just... Like so. Really? Yep, like that. See, I, I keep these. Do I, you? I don't waste anything. That goes straight into a soup. Straight into a soup? Soup, yep. I'll, I'll keep those for all you. All right, I've heard this about <laughs> you recently, Jess. You're getting, you know, keeping everything, recycling and doing all these things. No waste, no waste. And what would you like me to do with Just these? Just peeling them for me would be great. Sure. So that's really interesting. You pop them in the water there. It's going to almost flavour uh, the pasta and also cook them. Double whammy. 100%, percent Jazz. So they're only going to take a couple minutes for our asparagus, obviously, just to quickly blanch off and get them nice and vibrant green. Okay. And I'm just peeling this very carefully with a speed peeler. I mean, isn't that just such a lovely thing to see? Little ribbons of asparagus. Yeah, when we're creating a dish, it's all about textures. Obviously, we've got our pasta as the main component and then we have all the fresh vegetables. So doing it as in nice long spheres like this for the asparagus gives that wonderful texture and ribbons as mm. well. Mm. Really great way for your salad to take it to the next level. All right, Jazz. Yep. take these out into cold ice water, like so, just to stop the cooking process. Mm -hmm. Straight out, mm -hmm. like so. And all I'm going to do is just slice them up on an angle. So another texture again. OK, that looks good. You're doing well. So we need to wait another, say, five to six minutes for our pasta to cook. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to drop it into the ice water and put this salad together. Okay, Jazz, let's check our pasta quickly. Yes. Yeah, almost there. So time for you to pick some herbs for me. Okay. Got some gorgeous dill. Yeah. And we usually go heavy on the dill, don't you and I? We love our dill. I do. Yeah. And with this fresh lemon zest, and I'm going to juice it also, Jazz, for our dressing. Very nice. Yep. And some beautiful fresh mint. I'm just going to pick them straight off here. And don't even chop them, right? Oh. Just tear them. Just tear? Yep. Does this is one of my favourite ingredients, white balsamics. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more sweeter yep. than your dark balsamic. Mm. Good splash of olive oil also. Pinch of salt into our dressing and some cracked pepper. So this is what I do with my dressings mm -hmm. and my salads. Very French to do this. Maybe a little Italian too, oh, I'm not French, sure. Yes. <laughs> I always have to add that, don't I? <laughs> but you make your dressing in the bowl and then you add all your ingredients and toss everything together as opposed to getting another bowl to yeah. mix it. Why? Because it just works nicely just there. Exactly. So to stop the cooking process of our pasta, obviously if it's a cold salad, yes. into the ice water that we had before, mm -hmm. just like so. That will take a minute or two. Mm -hmm. Just to cool it down, stop that process, and then we can add everything into the bowl. Okay. Peas. Straight in. Because they're the hardiest. Nice. Asparagus. Two textures of asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> in they go. And what have you got here? Snow pea tendrils. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Do you like that? Yeah, I love it. And you think not to eat these, but they're quite crunchy and, and uh, subtle in flavour. Very Again, nice. Again, another texture. Yep. In with the pasta. Herbs. Lovely. I can't wait. Mm. It's just a chef thing, you know what I mean? We're impatient. we just got to mix everything straight away. <laughs> All right, I do have to get my hands in yep, there. Yep, absolutely. By using your hands, you've been quite gentle with those soft herbs. Uh -huh. So nothing's going to be bruised. Now we need to make a little bit of a nest mm. for our final little element for this dish. Yes. One of your favourite cheeses, I understand. Oh, I do love burrata. Burrata's fantastic. So burrata basically is 
the mozzarella, the skin, but then the inside is the curd. So mm. when we cut this, it should ooze all over our salad and add another element for our dressing. Fantastic. Yeah, so instead of the mayonnaise or cream, you're mm -hmm. actually adding the cheese and because it is gooey in the centre. Little salt just to finish on top of the cheese, like so. Cheese. Oh. Volleyball. Just love how it just cascades down the cheese. Isn't it magic? Speaking of cascading, we should get a little sharp knife and burst the burrata all over that gorgeous chickpea pasta salad. It's all yours, Joss. Oh. <laughs> That's just delightful. A little spoon each. Thank you. Just mix it together, right? 100%. Mmm. Mmm. That chickpea pasta is awesome. Isn't it's really it? Really nice, yeah. Really mm. nice earthy flavour. Mm. Creaminess, obviously, from the burrata. Mm. That refreshing zing, which is the white balsamic, that is my fave. I can taste that. A delicious salad. Spring, that's definitely going to be on my menu. <laughs>